Hello everyone, Heinlein here. In this video I will walk you through how to use the KH-66 Grom missiles. The Grom missile is a uh, air-to-ground uh, missile that is radar guided and I will walk you through how to use, uh, use them. First you may need to make sure that all your uh, relevant stations have uh, power, especially your uh, pylon uh, 1 and 2 and uh, your gun and your sights. You turn on all the switches basically in your startup uh, procedure, but that's another uh, lecture. And then you need to uh, turn the weapons mode switch to air to ground and this one to neutral. There you go. And the weapon selector switch right here. You uh, click this one to uh, pylon 1 and 2. That is because uh, the inner pylons is 1 and 2 station. And then, this you leave this on L and C, on the rockets, and you um, this this one needs to uh, be up, S for sh uh, for shooting, and uh, this one I like to turn down to manual. That is uh, because when you have the realistic HUD setting uh, on, then uh, your pipper uh, does not lock onto the target, and uh, your missiles can fall a bit short. That is because. Uh, 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 the radar beam is going to point at roughly this position. So what I like to do is to uh, uh, turn the intercept angle down to roughly two and a half, like so. And uh, by that, uh, when I uh, lock up the radar beam, then uh, this is exactly where uh, the missile is going to hit. And I uh, turn this one to missile. And you turn your uh, radar on, like so, and this one to locked beam. You use uh, use it on locked beam when you're doing air to gr ground bombing, and uh, yeah, essentially all air to ground attacks. Let's just leave it at that. And at this point, you are ready to attack. In front of us, I have a ship that we're going uh, to. Uh, make a run on and I'm going to show you two methods that we can uh, uh, control the missile in the air. The first one I'm going to uh, use the locked beam method. So let's unpause here. And right on the nose you can see the ship. Okay, let's just pause it really quick. Uh, to lock up the beam you uh, use the same button that you're using to lock up air targets. Uh, it's uh, For me it's uh, this button and this station, target lock on. Like so. And now the paper is should be right on, like so. And lock. And pause again. Now you can see the green light comes on, that means that uh, uh, the radar beam is locked and we can fire. So let's on pause and fire. And you need to stay on the target so the radar doesn't uh, lose the lock. And come on. Oh, right below the waterline. But as you uh, could see, the the um, the missile did hit ex uh, almost exactly where the paper is. So for the next attack I'm going to show you how you can uh, uh, steer the missile uh, while in uh, flight. It can be quite useful against uh, moving targets like uh, convoys or uh, or maybe even actually bombers. The ground missile can be used in air to air, air mode but uh, it's really hard so I've never done it. Once you have fired the one, the uh, aircraft really banks to the one side because of the high drag of the missile. Ah, there's a smoke from the ship. That's a good sign. Okay, let's move in here.
Okay, uh, let's just pause really quick here. Uh, when I'm going to fire this time, I'm not going to uh, press the lock on switch. Uh, by not doing that, I'm not locking the beam, so uh, uh, the radar beam points to exactly where the paper is. So uh, the only difference is that you do not lock the radar beam. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to show you that uh, the missile can be controlled. Okay, let's just fire here and try to steer it onto the ship. Rifle. As you can see, the missile is turning, like so. Come on. Boom! Goes the dynamite. So, as you can see, you can't control the missile in flight by not locking uh, uh, the beam. As I said, it can be useful against uh, moving targets uh, as uh, vehicle convoys or uh, even bombers if you want to be extra brave. So that's it for the short and uh, easy uh, way how to use the Grom missile in the MiG-29. So have a good day and uh, I'll see you soon.